What's going on everybody, this is DK Dynamite, and today we're going to be talking about the 4 bonus camo unlocks, hidden warzone challenges, plus even more, definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and in the background you're going to see some demonic Ashika Island gameplay. Sadly, the map has now been vaulted, and you can no longer play it over in Resurgence, but I believe you can still boot it up if you want to play some DMZ. I'm going to get accused of 2-boxing, or being whitelisted, or somehow avoiding SPMM, I already know. This was a ridiculous final match that I played of Ashika. Not sure what happened, but all of my lobbies were incredibly sweaty on this map as I was trying to play it for the last couple of times. And then all of a sudden, I got this demonic lobby that was by far one of the easiest matches I've ever played in the new iteration of Warzone. Managed to drop 26 kills, but go ahead and enjoy that background footage as we discuss some other Warzone topics. As a big reminder, there is plenty of brand new article covers that's been going up over on Detonated.com for those who want to stay up to date with all things Call of Duty. There was so much to report on over the last couple of days with Black Ops 6 the launch of season four hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the different coverage i'm really proud of the detonated team for getting everything done but i still have plenty of other videos i want to get out over the next couple of days following the release of our brand new content update following up from the recent season four crater call i do want to confirm that yes there are now 120 players in standard battle royale matches for urzikstan this is a massive change that i think was needed for quite some time my issue with battle royale on urzikstan isn't even the map i think urzikstan's a pretty well designed experience but the problem is the lack of players, the lack of action. I just want to get my adrenaline flowing. I want to drop a bunch of kills. And I feel like I just couldn't do that in the lobbies I was getting on Urzikstan BR. And now it's looking like we're going to be seeing a lot more action, at least across the board. And it's bringing us back to a similar player count that we had back during the Warzone 1 era, especially for Verdansk. So I think a lot of these changes we're seeing will obviously make for a better return of Verdansk if that does indeed happen, according to rumors, with Black Ops 6 Season 1. But one last update on Big Map Battle Royale. For those wondering, where is rank play on Urzikstan? Why don't we have it yet? Well, on the Crater Call, they did mention, again, that rank play is coming to the big map at some point, but they don't have a specific date that they're committing to yet. Now, I feel like from that statement alone, that's kind of PR-ish. I feel like what that really means is that they're working on bringing back Verdansk, and they're going to bring in a rank play for that map instead of Urzikstan later this year. That's just my theory right now, not confirmed at all. But here's the current playlist rotation for Warzone, lasting until June 5th. As you guys can see, we have a buyback, Solos, Battle Royale over on Urzikstan. Ranked play is still live over on Rebirth Trios. And then we have Plunder Quads on Urzikstan, which is actually pretty important for one of the things we're going to be talking about in this video. And then we also have a Battle Royale for Duos, Trios, and Quads for Urzikstan, followed by a map rotation for all squad sizes in Resurgence. This is a bit problematic. Let me know how you're feeling about this down below. There isn't a dedicated playlist for either Rebirth, Fortunes, or Vandal. Instead, a rotation between all three of those maps for every single Resurgence and squad size. Don't really agree with that. Rebirth is still fairly new, and I figured they would have at least added in one dedicated Rebirth playlist, but we'll probably see that as of next week. Now, with the release of Season 4, a ton of new challenges did release for Warzone, which are also exclusive to Warzone, that provide players with a ton of free cosmetic rewards, as well as some camel unlocks. Now, I think this is great because it increases replayability across the board. Apart from just in-game challenge events, or even weekly challenges, or the armory unlocks, we now have specific challenges and tasks that we can do within Warzone alone. And these rewards, of course, could be brought to any game mode of your choice, but these rewards are broken into five different categories. Let's start off with economics. So you have this first challenge here requiring you to loot 100 supply crates, and in exchange, you'll get the treasure hoarder emblem. Next up, you have to loot legendary supply crates to get the mythical crate calling card. As far as the specific amount of crates you have to loot, or as far as some of the values do go for a few of the challenges we're going to go over in this video, I'm going to update you guys with the exact numbers in the article in the pinned comment as the detonated staff is going to be updating that as we do go ahead and complete some of these challenges you can't actually see the milestones you have to hit for some of them but once we do learn that we're going to update the article as soon as possible next up spend cash in br or resurgence again the specific amount is unknown right now and you're going to unlock the fortune fatality weapon sticker next purchase items from three different buy stations in a single battle royale or resurgence match which will reward you with the gilded genetics weapon camo this is a bit of a green yellow ish type of camouflage that honestly matches the theme of season four quite well there's a heavy emphasis on green gas explosions dna strands this camo does look pretty damn neat it's not animated but still a nice still looking camo and i think if anything these camo rewards do explain why so many camos leak 
leaked out several months ago. Some of them are not for weekly challenges or challenge events, but could be for these exclusive Warzone challenges that may be refreshed every single season. Next up, we have a contracts category. You want to complete 10 contracts, then unlock the next challenge, but for doing that, you'll get a signature please emblem. Next up, complete scavenger intel, signal intelligence, or spy drone contracts to unlock the scavenger squad cosmetic. Next up, complete bounty, big game bounty, or most wanted contracts to unlock the big game bounty weapon sticker. Followed by complete three unique contracts in a single battle royale or resurgence match to unlock the purified helix weapon camo. That's a pretty straightforward challenge that really isn't that difficult to do. I mean, none of these challenges really are. They're just a tad bit tedious in terms of how many games you probably have to play to get some of these done. But I love this teal greenish looking camo here. It looks fantastic, especially on some of our new weapons that just released with season four. Moving into the social category, it wants you to live ping 50 enemy operators. That could take quite some time, but again, this is where resurgence or plunder really come into play, and especially a mode like lockdown. I know that's not active as of right now, but any close quarters, crazy, hectic, fast-paced mode of Warzone, that's where you want to go to get a challenge like this done. For doing that, you'll get the Ha emblem. Next up, deploy armor, ammo, or utility boxes, and you're going to go ahead and unlock the ammo and armor calling card. Next up, revive or buy back players, and you're going to unlock the Born of Fire sticker. Now, that's probably easier to do on, let's say, something like Rebirth or Fortune's Keep. You can get a lot more money a lot quicker, and you can go buy back players as soon as they die. Even if you're on Resurgence, you could just buy them before the timer expires, and then you could revive them if you're near them as well. But next up, we have Interrogate Enemy Operators in Battle Royale or Plunder. So, this one cannot be done in Resurgence, obviously, according to the challenge, but by doing this, you're going to go ahead and unlock the Veiled Strands Camo here, which is a nice yellow, red, orange-ish mix. It looks pretty damn sharp, and I just love the color palette they went with, at least for this one. Interrogating enemies isn't that crazy to do, but I think the problem with that is that if you down an enemy player, you gotta hope that their other teammates aren't nearby. So I think this is one of those instances where you gotta pray enemy operators are far away from their teammates, which I think could happen more often than not, and more than you probably expect, especially in a match of plunder. But now moving into the mode-specific category, I want you to complete 10 different games. All this means is that you spawn into a match, and you fully die out. Whether you win, whether you get killed, that counts as a completed game. You're gonna get the Icon of Honor emblem here, as you'll see. Next up, deposit $500,000 in a single plunder match. That doesn't specify if it has to be you, or if it could be your team, collectively. I would say do this more so in a solo aspect, even if your teammates are helping out. Make sure you guys deposit 500 k on your own. This could be altered later on to where it's like, oh, you have to be solo, or that your team can help you deposit money, and then you guys can each put in like 150 k or something. It depends, and I'm going to update you guys with that article linked down below. As of right now, for whatever reason, this challenge is bugged. When you guys are watching this video, maybe it's gotten fixed by the time you're actually tuning into this timestamp, but as of now, this is the only challenge when I'm recording this that doesn't exactly track properly, which means you can't do the challenges that we're about to go over that are listed after this one. But if you do complete this, you'll get the we're going to need a bigger chopper calling card. Next up, reduce the respawn time over in Resurgence, and you'll unlock the Catastrophe Weapon Sticker. This just means that when you guys out there have teammates that are waiting to spawn back in on resurgence if you loot boxes or kill enemies or complete tasks that'll go ahead and reduce the respawn timer for those teammates lastly reach the top 10 without entering the gulag in a single battle royale match obviously most people are probably just going to camp this one out not really engage in any gunfights to risk going to the gulag but if you complete this one you're gonna go ahead and unlock the royale helix weapon camo now this is a really nice looking camo it's blue purplish it's not the lightning camo that leaked out a little while back unless they've changed that camo to this one this is a camo that was seen in the recent Season 4 blog post that people were really excited about, and the camo looks great, but sadly, this is the camo that, as of now, you just can't unlock it because of that bug, but maybe you guys are watching this after it got fixed. In that case, you guys should be able to unlock this as of now. None of these camos we went over in this video are animated, except for the one that we're about to go over in a second for Champion's Quest, but these are still really cool cosmetics that honestly are worth going for in the case you need something extra to do while playing matches of Warzone, and you don't have to own Modern Warfare 3 to do any of these either, which is great. So next up, we have Champion's Quest. There is a brand new Hazardous Ruin animated camo that you'll unlock for going ahead and just completing Champion's Quest. That's obviously not for the faint of heart, but what do you know? There's options to do Champion's Quest on either Urzikstan or Rebirth Island this time around. Supposedly, there's an option to also do it on Fortune's Keep. I could be mistaken on that one, and I think you can even attempt it on Vondel. I know that was a Battle Royale only experience, but now that Resurgence supports Champion's Quest with Rebirth, I believe the two other Resurgence maps also support 
rewarded if you don't want to do it on Rebirth. Correct me if I'm wrong down below in the comments there, but with that, the next challenge is to defuse the nuke for an animated calling card. This by far, I think, is going to be the hardest challenge to do, defusing another team's nuke. The cool thing is, with the Season 4 Creator Call, it was confirmed that Champion's Quest contract stealing is now in-game. This was meant to go live, I think, during Season 1 many months ago, but it just didn't. Now that's an option in the case that you guys out there, you know, go up against another squad that has Champion's Quest available. If you don't want to just let them set it off, or if you don't want to steal the contract and do it for yourself, you can just let them arm the bomb, and then if you somehow get lucky to kill them, you can then defuse it for that reward. But lastly, you can witness the nuke explosion in a match to get the nuke charm. I believe if you set off the nuke yourself, this will work. Not sure if this implies you have to let another squad let the nuke go off for you to get this. If that's the case, that's incredibly difficult, but if only you have to go ahead and arm the bomb, then at least that's one less thing you have to worry about with other players having to do things themselves. That's what we know of as of now. But the last thing I'll end with is that your daily biometric keycard scans did not reset with our fourth season. If you go up to any keycard scanner on Rebirth, and I believe these are going to get added to other Warzone maps in the future, if you go up to the scanner now, it'll just continue right where you left off with your daily scans in Season 3. And if you're dedicated enough to scan on 27 different calendar days in Season 3, you'll still have access to that secret room over in Rebirth, which in my opinion is very helpful to do Champion's Quest, because you get a bunch of cash every like 30 seconds to a minute, which is really useful to go ahead and complete that difficult task. But that is about it. This has been DK Dynamite. Leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. Bit of a Warzone focused video here for you guys this evening, talking about those four bonus camel unlocks and all these secret challenges that you guys may have missed. There's a nice menu in the Warzone lobby now, which you can access to see all this content and to track all your progress. You could, of course, track the challenges on your pause screen if you guys want as well, as you could typically do with any other challenge. But leave all your thoughts down below on this new Warzone content in Season 4. Really hope you've enjoyed, and peace out, everybody. Mm -hmm.